closer to where you want to be in your career. Today is a gift. Man. Make it happen. We are not in Manhattan anymore. Now ain't that pretty. Excuse me, there's Starbucks around here? No, but there's a Dobby's around the corner. Only two stars on Yelp. Oh, this is the best place in town. You gonna trust us or you gonna trust your phone? <laughs> I guess I'll take your word for it. Can I get you guys anything? Uh, I'll have a bear claw. Yeah, uh, make that too. Right? And the cruller. Okay. And I'll have an orange juice, uh, no pulp. <laughs> okay. <laughs> sure, you got it. Well, he did say anything. <laughs> There you go, hon. Hey, what can I get you? Um, do you have an Ethiopian roast? Nope. Uh, Sumatra? I don't think so. <laughs> what do you have? Coffee. Sounds perfect. <laughs> oh, you wouldn't happen to have soy. Never mind. Visiting family in the area? I'm here on a job till Christmas, probably. Oh, before I forget, um, could I get two bear claws, a cruller, and an OJ no pulp, please? You met Earl and Felix, huh? Welcome to Hudson Springs. And you are? Clay. Uh, well, Clay, I'll get you a to go box. She's a beauty, Delaney. Thanks, boss lady. All right, Scott, you can smile. The holiday season has officially begun. Hey, I, Halloween was my thing. Christmas was always yours. Oh, I guess I get that from Dad. Oh, he sure did love the season. This first Christmas without him is going to be a lot easier with you two here. I, I'm so glad we're together. I mean, you know, you're just itchy to get back at work. No, Mom, I, I want it to be here. I mean, we all know how important this season is for the farm's survival, and, and I'd hate for us to have to sell the place. Oh, come on, Scott, we'll be fine. We always do well during the holidays. I know, all I'm saying is the bottom line is now my responsibility. Well, people don't just come here to buy a tree. They come for the Christmas tradition, the experience, experience. <laughs> just like Dad used to say, which is my specialty, art and commerce, which is why I am so proud of you both. <laughs> Now get to work. Yep. Yes, ma'am. You have your Norris? Yeah. Clay Moore from corporate. Oh, no. What's wrong? Nothing's wrong. Oh, <laughs> OK. Here, I have coffee. Oh. HQ sent me up here last minute to help with the launch. Are you ready to help me make this store a hit by Christmas? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But I'm not sure about anybody else. People around here aren't exactly thrilled about HCS opening up in Hudson Springs. Another reason why I'm here, I saw the market research. There's some resistance we'll need to overcome. But if there's one thing I know how to do, it's get people in the door. I hope so, because we open in two hours and trust me, the people of Hudson Springs will come around when they realize our wide selection and low, low prices can't be beat. <laughs> you know, you said exactly like the commercial. Yeah, that's what I was going for. Follow me, Xavier. Uh, what's all this? A first sales promotion. Christmas trees. Ooh. You know it. Let's set up a tree pen over here. 50 by 50 should do it. Hey, can you line up the trees by size? Small, medium, large, and jumbo? Wow, uh, those prices are so uh, low. <clears throat> these trees are a proven loss leader. They bring in the customers, sales go up, corporate's happy, and we look like heroes. <laughs> I don't think that's going to work. Yeah, it works all the time. Proofs in the spreadsheet. Let's put a dozen inflatable trees out front, the ones that light up. And where can I set up home base, Xavier? Um... Hey, so nice to see you. I've got a cookie for you. <laughs> and some cider. Hello there. Got some hot cider. Yeah, there you go. Enjoy. Thank you very much. Oh, my goodness gracious. Oh, goodness. Jessica? <gasps> Jessica, 
we can't pay the bills with farm animals. Nobody likes free hot dogs? I like free hot dogs. It's a tree. Just pick one and come on into the store. Come on. I don't get it. Route 12's flowing with traffic. Nobody shops for Christmas trees around here? We do, but mostly from local farms where you can pick your own tree. Like my friends the Roberts family. They own a farm three miles down the road and grow the trees right on property. You know, I've been going there ever since I was a kid. I can still remember the first time I helped my dad cut our very own Christmas tree. Cut? Like, with a saw? Yeah, because that sounds incredibly old-fashioned. Why didn't you tell me about this before? About my childhood? Well, <laughs> the farm. Xavier. Oh, you didn't ask. Huh. It's Robert's farm. It's not in the marketing research. All right. Where are you going? Well, if people around here would rather buy their trees from some farm than enjoy the low cost and convenience of a pre-cut tree, I need to know why. Looking tree. They all are here. Whoa. Nice comes with a price. Uh, it's a once a year thing. Kids love it. I just wish I didn't have to haul it home. They don't deliver? Small farm. Guess they don't have the manpower. Hmm. Thanks again for the help. Have a happy holiday. You too. So, when you were born, your mom and dad planted a sapling in our grove. And guess what? What? Now that tree is all grown up, just like you, except it's grown into a big, beautiful Christmas tree. Isn't that cool? Yeah. <laughs> Do you still have the slip number? I've been keeping it safe for eight years. Oh. OK, so this one is uh, five rows across and six rows back. And if you have any trouble finding it at all, come find me. Let's go. Yay, have fun! Hmm. There you go. Enjoy. Oh, cider. Let me know if you need anything. timber when you chop down a tree? Nobody really does that. Wish I'd known. But at least I can take a salted by a Christmas tree off my bucket list now. Well, in that case, you're welcome. <laughs> I'm Clay. Oh, um, Jessica. Oh, you have a little pine needle in your hair. <laughs> Thanks. So I take it you're not from around here? Not even close. New York. This is New York. Sorry, I mean the city, Manhattan. Just checking out some local spots. Well, you have come to the right place because this farm is the place in Hudson Springs during the holiday. I can see that. Excuse me, my boss. Sure. Clay, it's Marsha. I'm watching the video feed from the store and it's not exactly bustling. Would you agree? A slow start, I know, but uh, Hudson Springs is a bit old-fashioned. I'll need a little more time to win people over. Jessica? Oh, we're having a little trouble finding our tree. Oh, sure. Um, let me, uh, let me just see your slip number here. 
Okay. Yeah, it's this way. I need you to do your own on-the-ground recon. Hang around supermarket. The barbershop, a town hall meeting. Find out what's making them hesitate. I'm already on it. That's what I like to hear. Hey. Better than free hot dogs, boss. A little marketing research goes a long way. I've had a couple of college kids home for the holidays working for tips, and we have our army. You are a marketing maestro. I'm just getting warmed up. Uh, what's this? Second part of my plan. They're here to interview you. Uh, uh, me? I, I, I... You're the face of Hudson Springs New HGS store, right? Yeah. <laughs> a few talking points. Make sure you mention the free delivery, okay? Don't be nervous, you'll do great. Yeah, but... Excuse me a sec. Yeah, Clay. Yeah, how are you? Thank you for coming. Nice to meet you. Yeah. Free delivery. Free delivery. Mm. Hey, how come Xavier didn't show? He never misses opening day. I don't know, he didn't text me back. Is he still looking for a job? We should just hire him, Scott. Uh, no, our payroll is stretched thin enough as it is. Hi, I am proud to be part of the Harvest team here at the new location on Route 12. Savior? We are bringing lots of local jobs, and not to mention a wide uh, selection of plants and gardening supplies. You have got to be cost. kidding me. Oh, no, no, not kidding. Xavier Norris, manager, Harvest Garden Supply, says it right there on the TV. Hey. Yes, thank you. Yeah, for pointing that out. I can't believe he didn't tell me this. What a traitor. Come on, you can't blame the poor guy. I mean, he's been looking for a job for ages. For our grand opening, we are giving away free hot dogs and balloons for the kids. And not to mention, um, free deliveries for all of our Christmas trees. Okay, well, I would have hired him if I knew he was just gonna stab us in the back like this. Maybe listen to your big sis next time. <sighs> so. Come on down and see for yourself what Harvest Garden Supplies is all about. You heard the man. Exciting stuff going on down here at Route 12. Well, why would City Hall let a superstore like Harvest set up in Hudson Springs? It's the way of the world. Big chain stores are just popping up everywhere. Yeah, and putting mom and pop operations like ours out of business. Look, I'm sure there are plenty of customers to go around. How are you not more worried about this? A lot of our customers have to drive past that atrocity to get here. Look, our farm is special to people. We make memories. That matters. Our customers are not going to stop coming here just to save a few bucks. You're right. You know I'm right. She's a beauty. Enjoy her. Happy holidays. Are you uh, noticing anything different today? Um, you shaved? Talking about the farm? It's not exactly bustling. So, it's a weekday. It's always slow around the weekday. No, we had 25% more customers on the same weekday last year. Only difference now is Harvest Garden Supply is three miles down the road, and they sell trees too. I'm sure it is just a coincidence. Look, everybody knows we have the best trees, period. Hey, let's go or we'll be late. If I know anything, it is Hudson Springs and Christmas trees. We'll be fine. Be fine. We'll now open the meeting up to public comments. Mayor Barnes, I, I thought this new big box store was supposed to fix everything. Now, we, we can't even afford Santa's village? I mean, what am I supposed to tell my kids? Look, I am disappointed about Santa's village, too. This is just going to take time. HGS will bring people from all over our county, and those tax dollars are going to flow into this city. This time next year, we'll see us with an amazing Christmas spectacle like this town has never seen. We gotta say something.
do you mean we? Uh, Mayor Barnes. Uh, Delaney. Watson. Hey. As, as you know, I work over at the Roberts Farm. Also, side note, my band Later Alligator plays every Tuesday night at Riley's. Would love to see you all there. Come check us out. <laughs> now, many of you know my best friend, Jessica. Now, she has something to say about this whole Harvest Garden cinch. I do? Yes, you do. I do. I do. Um, Mayor Barnes, I understand why council approved a superstore in Hudson Springs. I do. We need jobs, especially now. But I think what Bob is trying to say is how important the spirit of Christmas is to the folks of Hudson Springs. People from our county and beyond visit us because of how special our community is. Our mom and pop businesses go above and beyond to make the holidays so magical. So regardless of the bottom line, council has to support our community's holiday efforts. We have to ensure that our mom and pop businesses, our families, and our neighbors survive to next year. Yeah, enough superstores like HGS. Am I right? Yeah. Yes. yes. Oh, sorry. Oh, it's you. Clay, right? I nice see you again, Jessica. <laughs> the last cookie's yours. I couldn't. I insist. It's the least I can do for almost taking you out with the Christmas tree. I have a crazy idea. Timber. Huh? Mm -hmm. uh? <laughs> uh? <laughs> so, what brings you here? Work. I'm uh, here for a while on a project. I'm at the town hall. Oh, uh, I wanted to get a feel for Hudson Springs, see who its movers and shakers are. Are these meetings always so lively? Almost never. I run my family's business, so I like to come to stay informed. Oh, yeah? What business is that? Jess, what do you think? Oh, hello there. Hi, I'm Clay. Delaney, am I uh, interrupting? OK, what do you think about a countywide boycott of Harvest? You know, power to the people, stick it to the man. Maybe if no one shops there, they'll just shut down and leave. Do those things actually work? <laughs> Hell yeah, it does. Unless Harvest has enough funds to ride it out. Well, we're not spending a dime at that corporate atrocity. Am I right, you guys? Right? I should get going. Um, it was nice running into you again. You too. Something you want to tell me? No. You don't want to share anything? Nope. Nothing just happened just now. I didn't see anything happen. Oh. That I can get approved. It's just a formality. Ah, oh, that's a relief. <laughs> With all the budget cuts lately, I was worried. I am doing my best to keep a few of the town's traditions. The bean counters at City Hall know that it's just not the holidays without a tree from the Roberts Farm to light up our museum. I couldn't agree more. <laughs> Thank you, Ms. Mayor. Thank you. Oh, here, let me help you with those. Oh, oh thank you. <laughs> That's no very problem. nice. No problem thank at you all. That. <laughs> um, yeah, my car's right here. <gasps> so, I'm new in town. Is this the best market around here? Oh, well, it should be. I've been... I've been coming here for 40 years. Really? Yep. Seems a little pricey compared to the big and safe by the highway. That store is huge. I can't find a darn thing. Plus, everybody knows me here. Ah, must be nice. Check out clerk at my local market back home. Always acts like he's never seen me before. Where's home for you? New York City. I'm here till around Christmas for work. Well, alone in a new place at the holidays, that can't be easy. Mm -hmm. That's the job. Well, you seem too nice to be from the city. We're having a little tree trimming, and I'd love for you to join us. That's very kind of you to offer, but I, I wouldn't want to impose. Oh, small town hospitality, honey. You would not be imposing. 
It would be fun to meet a real Hudson Springs family. Well, so come on over. No, just look down the road and you can follow me in my car. Okay, sure. Yeah. Sounds good. All right. Hey, how come Xavier didn't show? Uh, because I didn't invite him. What, after what he did? Scott, it's tradition. Yeah. So? I'm home and I brought a new friend. This young man was helping me with my groceries, and we just started chatting, and oh, I didn't even get your name. It's Clay from Manhattan. Oh, you two know each other? Mm. We met a couple times. I think this makes the third. I just, no, <laughs> what an amazing coincidence. <laughs> okay, well, I'll just take these groceries, and you just take them into the kitchen. I can't remember the last time my whole family did something together like this. Even at the holidays? We used to. But over the years, everyone got so busy with work and travel, it's become impossible to get this all together. Oh, well, that's a shame. Yeah. It is. How long have you had the farm? Uh, my grandfather bought this land 80 years ago, and then my dad ran this place until he passed this spring. I'm sorry. Thanks. We are doing everything we can to try to keep this place running. From what I saw the other day, you're doing quite well. We're getting by. But you know, family farms are a dying breed, and each year seems to get harder than the last. And now that horrible harvest superstore is luring customers away using gimmicks like cheap trees and free delivery. You don't offer free delivery? Seems like something people would want. Yeah, but we'd have to hire more people. Maybe we should. What, uh, what kind of business are you in, Clay? Me? Yeah. Oh, uh, marketing. Uh, finding ways to attract uh, customers is my forte. Oh, sounds like we should hire you. Yeah, that's an excellent idea, right, Jess? Mm -hmm. I'm sure Clay has more important things to do than help us out with our little farm. Honestly, I wish I could, but my plate's overloaded as it is. Sounds to me like this is the first time you've ever faced some real competition. Good news is people around here know and trust your brand. So my advice would be to up your game and get creative. Yeah, but how? We don't have harvest deep pockets. Anyone can throw money at a problem. But if you're creative, you don't need to spend big bucks to get people to shop here. You could be right. Feel free to bounce ideas off me anytime. Oh, isn't that nice of you to <laughs> offer? Isn't it, Jeff? Uh, yes. <laughs> yes, it is. It's, it's very nice. Thank you. Clay, do you have your Christmas tree yet? Mm, uh, I do not. Okay, let's go. Please excuse my mom. <laughs> she is a little nosy, but she means well. <laughs> She's so sweet. And I envy the closeness you all have. I'd forgotten how nice being around family at the holidays can be. Mm, well, in case you hadn't noticed, we love Christmas. <laughs> Me too. But it's been a long time since I've really felt the holiday spirit. Well, maybe this year will be different. Maybe. So, do you see a tree you like? I probably shouldn't get one. My hotel room's pretty cramped as it is. Oh, come on. What better way to get into the holiday spirit than a Christmas tree in your room? I think the fire marshal might disagree with you. Mm -hmm. But, uh, okay. That one. Ah, a fine choice. Oh, no, 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 it's on the house. I mean, farm. <laughs> <laughs> Just consider it a thank you for all the business advice. And for almost taking you out with that tree. You sure? Yes. Just don't tell my brother. I'll have it sent over tomorrow. I thought you don't deliver. As of tonight, we do. Anything to compete, right? <laughs> Let me guess. That will be your delivery truck. <laughs> Most likely, yes. Ah, oh, my dad loved that truck. He named it Sheila after my grandma Sheila. I promised him I would take care of it and the farm. This place means a lot to you. Yeah. Well, all of my favorite memories growing up happened here, especially the ones with my dad. He taught me everything I know about farming and livestock and agriculture. I am determined to keep this farm going. So how are you liking Hudson Springs? 
I haven't really had a chance to explore much yet, but I like it so far. I'm glad. Do you think maybe you could give me a locals tour of the town sometime? I mean, if you're not too busy. No, I, I suppose I could, yeah. I mean, you're new to town, you should see the town. Yeah, uh, Friday night at seven. Works for me. Perfect. Great. Thanks again for tonight. Of course. Here's your tree delivered freely thanks to you. Till Friday, Jessica. Jessica Roberts delivering a tree to a guy and giving him a tour. I must say, I'm impressed. I'm just being welcoming. Oh. He's new to town and he seemed kind. And? And smart. Oh. Okay, okay, he's cute too. But I, I think it was sweet of him to give us that advice on how to compete with Harvest, so I am just showing him around town. Sure. It's not a date or anything. It is so a date. Not a date. Huge date. Not a date. Yeah. Jessica Roberts, seriously? You do realize that? That her farm is our main competition? Of course I do. Now, I honestly had no idea that was her farm until I walked into their house and there she was. I mean, what are the odds? Okay, so what did she say when you told her you work at HGS? Oh no, you didn't tell her. I wanted to, really I did. But I was having such a good time getting to know her and her family, I just couldn't find the right moment. She's gonna be so mad. Or maybe she'll have such an amazing time on our date, she'll see it's only business and not only <laughs> Oh, you're serious? Yeah, no, uh, you don't know the Roberts family like I do. You have to tell her soon. I know. I will. Soon. If it isn't Benedict Sherman. Um, okay. Hi to you, too. Would you be so kind, Sherman, to explain exactly why you would do a puff piece on Harvest Grand Opening instead of our town's local retailers? Yeah, tipping the scales for a national chain is hardly fair. We thought it'd be a good story. A new retail business comes to Hudson Springs, creating jobs at the holiday. How many Harvest gift cards did they bribe you with? Be honest. None. I swear. Well then, that's great news, right, Jess? That is great news. That means you can do a piece on our farm for free. And what is the newsworthy angle? A feel-good story about a local establishment that's been spreading holiday cheer for decades in the county, unlike Harvest. You need to make this right, Sherman. I doubt my producer will go for it. <laughs> <laughs> Sherman, Sherman, Sherman. Have you forgotten a certain favor I did for a certain classmate who couldn't get a date to senior prom? Well, I'm cashing in that favor now. Or I could share your story on your social media. Okay, page. okay, okay. Uh, we'll make it happen. Uh, Today. I will call my right now. Just put your phone away. Please. <laughs> were you bluffing? Did that look like a bluff? I have no idea. I am just glad you were on my team. Always. There is no better way to kick off the Hudson County holiday season than with a trip to the Roberts Family Farm for a homegrown Christmas tree. This local treasure, off Route 12, sells beautiful Christmas trees and has been providing the community with plants and garden supplies for three generations. With me today is Jessica Roberts, who runs the farm. Jessica, why is this year's tree farm especially meaningful to you? Well, Sherman, that is a great question. Uh, my dad, Hal, ran this farm for over 30 years. He loved that our family farm was spreading holiday cheer all across the county, one tree at a time. Christmas is a tradition around here, and we need that in our community now more than ever, right? Right, she's good. Oh, Jessica, more than good. 
She's great. I loved their farm as a kid. I'm getting my tree there tomorrow. What? My dad always used to say, we don't just sell trees, we make memories. And I feel the exact same way. What a nice story. Oh, and one more thing. Um, I just think it's important for your uh, viewers to know mm. that small local businesses like our family farm are the lifeblood of our community. We treat our customers like friends and neighbors because they are. Mm. That new HGS, it can't make the same claim. Do not fall for their gimmicks, okay? <laughs> we just called you out. Just come on down it's to okay. our family farm. And even if I'll you don't buy anything, care. you'll have fun. Oh, and mention Channel 4, and you'll get 10% off. In other news, as the year comes to a close, the mayor of Hudson Springs announced today our city faces severe budget cuts. It's our responsibility to spend wisely on our community's top priorities. Unfortunately, that means scaling back on some of our holiday traditions this year. As you can see, Ms. Mayor, we've hired over 30 sales associates so far, all from Hudson County. Yeah, I mean, I was looking for a job for over four months. Never thought I'd be a manager in an HDS Superstore. Oh, well, that's fantastic. We could certainly use more taxpayers and shoppers around here. Saw that news story last night. Sounds grim. Well, everyone needs to tighten their belts, especially City Hall. Which isn't always easy at the holidays. That's why we at Harvest want to help. Follow me. Oh. Looks like the news story gave us the bump we needed at the right time. Ten days before Christmas. Clay was right. You can compete without much money. Jessica! <laughs> it's for you. It's the mayor's office. Oh. Mayor Barnes, I was just about to call you. When would you like the tree sent over? Well, that's why I'm calling. It's not going to work out this year. I'm sorry. Well, what do you mean? If it's the price, we can work something out. Uh, well, another vendor donated a tree. But I thought the tree we picked was perfect. I'm sorry, Jessica. We're just too cash-strapped to turn it down. Please don't take it personally. Hopefully next year, we'll have the funds to be able to buy from you again. I hope so, too. Okay, bye-bye. Don't look so glum. It's Friday night, and you've got a hot date to get ready for. It is not a date. It's a tour. Sure. Whatever. With a cute guy who likes you. Come on. <laughs> Jessica Roberts is going out. Finally. Hey, I date sometimes. Just not as often as you. Hey, at least I try. Okay, what about this? You look like a park ranger. I don't even know what that means. Oh. It's not a compliment. Out of my way. Okay, nope. Nope. Definitely not. Wow. Uh, oh, wow. This might just work. Honestly, I know what to get you for Christmas. Really? That shirt? Trust me, keep the jeans, swap the top. Okay. Yeah. Okay. You look beautiful. I mean, you always do, just in a different way tonight. And, uh, I'm gonna stop talking. <laughs> Thank you. For the compliment, I mean. Oh. Uh, before we go, there's, there's something you should know. And truth comes out. You have a girlfriend. What? No. A wife? No. Oh. Four kids. What I wanted to tell you is... I'm not a fan of eggnog. I mean, some people love it. You might be one of them. Nothing wrong with that. I just, I wanted to put it out there from the start. Thank you. Thank you for your honesty. Great. Can we go now, Clay, for Manhattan? <laughs> yeah. I told you this movie was packed full of Christmas trees. Between commercials and town meetings, the competition is getting tough. Between just every moment of every day is an opportunity to convert, to convince, to sell. Oops. <laughs> you are that one of my business podcasts. No, no, leave it on. I want to hear it. <clears throat> every person you meet is a possible buyer. Maybe not today hmm. or tomorrow, but someday. Your contacts are your current. This guy can't be serious. Everyone's buying or selling something, even if they don't know it. 
I don't know, reducing everything to a transaction? What about being a good person, giving back to the community? You can be successful in business and be a good person. You're proof of that. Thanks. I'd like to think so. As for me, I'm trying to make every day a win for the company, but I'm also trying to contribute to the community here so that everybody benefits. Mm. I can send you these podcasts if you want to stream some. I actually prefer the clay cast. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you love what you do. It's cute. Okay. So, pick your tour. Uh, you could have the official Hudson Springs tour featuring uh, historical landmarks. Takes all of about three minutes. <laughs> or you can have the official Jessica Roberts tour featuring Jessica Roberts landmarks. You pick. Mm, the latter, definitely. Excellent choice, sir. Excellent choice. My first date, that was Brandon Marks. <laughs> He took me to the train museum Christmas light up. Oh. I was 16. It was great, except for the fact that his parents came and stood behind us the entire time. Awkward. Yeah. Your mom's not following this, is she? No, not likely. <laughs> it's a nice tradition. A tradition where, for the first time in decades, we will not be using a tree from the Roberts family farm. Oh. Yeah, someone donated a tree, so the city doesn't need to buy it from us. Can't blame them for taking a free tree. Oh, I know. I had just hoped to use the first tree my dad ever planted in the grove. Oh, it would have been such a nice tribute to him, seeing it all lit up in the center of the community he loves so much. So sorry that didn't work out. Me too. Good evening, Clay. Yes. How you doing, fellas? Hey. You've been here a week, and you already know Earl and Felix? Hard not to. Their friendship's expensive, but I like those guys. <laughs> Can I ask you something? Yeah. How is it you're still single? <laughs> I, I think every guy in Hudson Springs would be after you. Oh, well, I don't know about that. Um, I don't know. I guess my family and the farm have just always come first, especially when my dad needed help managing everything. I was happy to be here for him. It sounds like you sacrificed a lot. Didn't feel like a sacrifice. What about you? No big apple lady snapped you up yet? <laughs> Not yet. Uh, I come from a family of workaholics. When uh, we were kids, my dad sat us all down and said, kids, money isn't everything. It's the only thing. Mm. Yeah, so working hard, and climbing the corporate ladder has always been the priority. Mm. Long hours. Uh, Traveling lots for work and an apartment I barely use except to sleep. You sound like a lot of fun. It's the big city way of life. <laughs> <laughs> so I guess Hudson Springs must feel like such a culture shock to you. At first, slowing down a little has been good for me. I'm seeing things I didn't realize I was missing. Fresh air, trees, conversations with a strong, smart, beautiful woman. I bet you say that to all the farm girls. <laughs> Are you hungry? Yes. Let's eat. Okay. <laughs> Hi, Jessica. How you doing, Clay? Wait, you're a regular already? I've seen him every morning this week, and most nights. Wow, and here I was thinking I was taking you someplace you've never been. Sorry, you just seem so excited to show me. Truth is, I'm hooked on her coffee. I might even have to have it shipped to New York. I mean, Manhattan. Mm. <laughs> Why don't you two grab a seat? I'll bring you a couple of glasses of wine. On the house. Hmm. Wow. Even Dottie likes you. I'd like to make a toast to that tree that almost knocked me down. If it hadn't, we may never have met. Aw, to the tree and my negligence. <laughs> By the way, I saw you on TV the other night. Oh, no. You did? What? You had a real screen presence. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> I was so nervous. I mean, I did get the message out. And the free press definitely helped, but we still need to up our game. Now, there's a site. Sherman! Hi! Hi. This is Clay. Clay? Oh, I know Clay. 
In fact, we did a story together just last week. Oh. What, is there anybody in this town you don't know? It's good to see you, Sherman. Mmm. Huh. This meatloaf is delicious. Mmm. Wow. Yeah. Um, it is really good to see you two rivals in peace talks. Enjoy your dinner. Okay. Thank you. Peace talks? I didn't know we were at war. So, what was the story he did? Oh, it was nothing. Oh, come on, tell me. Maybe I saw it. Clay? Promise you won't get mad. Why would I get mad? Okay. He did a story for me about a harvest garden supply. What? Wait, why do you? I, I wanted to tell you before, but it just didn't seem like a good time. And uh... you work for Harvest. I'm a regional marketing director. They send me in to launch certain stores. Ha! <laughs> You're funny. That's a that's a really funny, really bad joke. I mean, you and Sherman know each other somehow. Please tell me you're kidding. I'm sorry. You're sorry? Why didn't you tell me? I wanted to. Really, I did. But you and Scott, and especially your friend Delaney, hate Harvest. And I thought that if I told you the truth, then you would never even give me a chance. So you just omitted a pretty key part of yourself. I just wanted to get to know you. What for? What, so you could size up your competition? What, figure out our weaknesses so you could lure our customers away and beat us? Wow. No, that, of course not. What a... You seemed kind. And funny. And smart. <laughs> Let me get dinner. I knew it was too good to be true. Enjoy our holiday. He's got some nerve. I just wish he would have told me. Exactly. Instead of going on a date with you when he knew that it was our farm that he was stealing business from. Mom and I, we could tell that you were excited about him. We're always hoping that you're going to meet a great guy. Thanks. Me too. I swear, if, if I see Clay, I'm going to... You will do nothing, Scott. Let's just focus on what we have to do. Just like every year. See? I told you she'd be mad. It's not so much what she said, but how she looked at me. Like I betrayed her. I felt terrible keeping the truth from her. I still do. So what are you gonna do? I don't know. Can't change how she feels about Harvest. Hopefully, I can change how she feels about me. $22.99? How is that even possible? Not even a Northeastern fur. Won't last two weeks. Find what you're looking for? Uh, no, thank you. I'm just browsing. Sorry about the other night. You have every right to be upset. I should have told you the truth sooner. But I didn't, because I wanted you to like me for who I am instead of prejudging me for who I work for. The Death Star, you mean. Did you know that Harvest started out as a small family farm just like yours? Wilbur Anderson, the founder, opened a small produce stand on a country road and grew from there. He had those same small town values that people around here share. It's part of what appealed to me about the job. 
building on his underdog story, and turning new customers into fans of the brand. That is a fan club I want no part of. You have every right to be cynical, but the competition between Harvest and your farm, that's business. This, between us, it's personal. Well, it all feels the same to me. I'm not trying to put you out of business. I'm just trying to get people to shop at this store. So we're competing, big deal. Embrace the challenge and push yourself to win. Hmm, you sound like your podcasts. And I don't need your patronizing advice. If you wanna help us out, stop selling trees. I can't do that. I put a lot of my budget into that tree lot. It brings people into the store, that's my job. Selling low-grade trees and foreign-made gardening supplies. How noble. Our customers love our wide selection and low, low prices. Look, I didn't come here to debate the flimsy merits of the HGS business model. I'm here to see what I'm up against. So we can beat HGS. And you. I'll have to warn you. I'm not one to lose. But I wish you the best of luck anyway. Well, you too. That's nice shirt. Very, very good color, I mean. Oh, uh, I think it's lilac. Manager. Oh, you've been working so hard to find a job, being there for your family. I'm so proud of you. Thanks, Annie. But, uh, Scott sure isn't. Think you'll ever forgive me? Savior, honey. Scott is navigating a whole new landscape of responsibilities at the farm now that Dad has gone and you are doing what is right for you and your future. We're family. So you and Scott, you're gonna find your way. Just have a little patience. Thanks. A concert? Yeah. Delaney's band is playing to raise money for sprucing up the train museum. Jessica thought it'd be good PR for our farm. Well, as part of this family, I would love to hang some up in the store. Oh, well, that's great, honey. Thank you. Thanks for the chat, Annie. Oh, anytime. And say hello to your mother. Always will. <laughs> Who was that? Your best friend, Xavier. So we hope you'll give us a chance to earn your trust, your friendship, and your business. Thank you. Yeah, right. I'm not falling for that corporate show. I don't know. He seems sincere. Well, what? Let the countdown begin in 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, Premiering Saturday night. We just had a lot of fun today, right? Yeah, we did. Jill Wagner and Nick Bateman star in A Christmas Miracle for Daisy. Premieres Saturday night at 8, right here on GAC Family. Some things can't be tried at home. Morning. Morning. 
What's this? So I was right. It was you and HGS that kept the town from buying my dad's tree. Sorry about that. I was just trying to protect the Hudson Springs tradition. I didn't know what it meant to your family or you. Honest. Benefit concert. Yeah. We're raising money to spruce up the tree museum. It's looking a little run down. The tree is nice, but we wanted to do something lasting. Concert's a smart idea. He says sarcastically. No, I mean it. We get some new people walking around the farm. Exposure and doing good for the town. It's a win-win. Hmm. So am I allowed to come to this? It's a free country. But if you do, bring cash. Lots of it. That tree donation was a solid PR move. Those are up and so is everything else. It's an improvement, but it's a week before Christmas and the numbers still aren't where they need to be. Which is why I'm rolling out new reasons to come to HGS every day. Good. We're counting on you, Clay. I won't let you down. You're gonna have a blast, I'm telling you. <laughs> I'm looking forward to it. Hey, Scott. <laughs> Xavier, I'm so sorry, guys, but we're actually, we're totally sold out for the night, so. What are you talking about? There's tons of space in there. No, no, not for Harvest Guys. There isn't. We're just here to support the town like everybody else. Maria? And we thank you for that. <laughs> thank you very, very much. Here are your two tickets, gentlemen, and you enjoy yourselves. Thank you. Thanks, Annie. I didn't raise you to be rude. Xavier's your friend. I mean, when are you gonna cut him some slack? Yeah, it's simple, when he stops working for the enemy. Oh, not everybody can go off to college and choose their career. Maybe you could be a little bit more understanding. Okay. Thank you. I just found out we raised over $1,000 to help spruce up our tri museum. my BFF, Jessica Roberts, and her farm. So show your love and come back and buy a Christmas tree. Yeah! We come back any place you find over at Harvest. That mega store is stealing business from mom and pop shops like this one. So if you really care about Hudson Springs, you'll boycott Harvest Garden and shop local. Nothing to do with that. It's okay. Uh, I'm all for free speech. So sticking out like a sore thumb just comes naturally to you, doesn't it? No idea what you mean. Someone should get you some flannels for Christmas. I'll let Santa know. Doubt you're on the nice list. Not yet. I'm trying. Great turnout. I'm impressed. Going all in on my home turf advantage. See, around here, the holidays are about people coming together, not just buying stuff. Mm. You know your town. Underestimate me at your peril. Do you, uh, want to dance? With you? That was the idea. No? I, I, I don't think so. I, I just, I don't, I don't think it'd be a good look, uh, you know, being seen dancing with Harvest Garden Supplies Regional Marketing Director. Yeah, yeah, I guess not. Yeah. What if I'm dancing and you just happen to be dancing in my general proximity? That'd be a better look? I suppose that could be okay. Well, I'm going to go dance now there by myself mm -hmm. like that <gasps> okay <laughs> <laughs>
Does this mean you're uh, a little closer to forgiving me? No. We're just dancing. Uh-huh. Just dancing. Sure. Just dance. Look at those two. Thought you just better not hurt her again. Come on. Let's dance. All right. Come on. <laughs> Selling an experience. Up. There's something you need to see. Harvest? What else? Be outside in five. <sighs> Merry Christmas, you guys. Here's a coupon for 10% off. Ho, ho, ho. Happy holidays from HGS. Oh, this is grotesque. Grotesquely awesome. <laughs> and free. People love free Christmas. What are we going to do? The only thing we can. We are going to out free Christmas them. You can do better than this? Watch me. <laughs> you go, business Jess. OK, sweethearts, little cider break. Yay. Thank you. <laughs> Enjoy. So good. Mm -hmm. Thanks. Hey, Jessica. Mm. Mm. Oh, I know that look. You're worried about something. Yeah, I'm, I'm worried about how we're going to pay for all this. Well, sometimes you have to spend money to make money. I know, except I just totaled up our expenses, and we don't have the cash to make payroll this week and pay our mortgage. We are going to sell more this year than we ever have. Of everything. Yeah, but it's the holidays. People need to be paid, like, today. You know, Christmas is right around the corner. Sheila. You look shell shocked. This, uh, well, this is, uh, holiday tacular? Yeah. yeah. I mean, look, it's no light show experience in a parking lot, but we do our best. Extreme measures were taken to pay for it, but, you know, it's all worth it to see that look on your face. What kind of extreme measures? I'd rather not say. Mm. But I have to get back to work because, uh, as you can see, I have a lot <laughs> of customers that I have to deal with. Yeah, I should get back to work, too. Mm -hmm. uh, good luck with this. Thanks. I mean, I don't think I'm going to need it, but, you know, mm. thanks. Yeah, I can see that. Yeah, great. All right. <laughs> yeah, right. bye. Bye. <sighs> wow. Oh, this is wonderful. <laughs> that Christmas came to Hudson Springs after all. Mayor Barnes must have found some pennies in the town budget. Or her favorite benefactor came through again. To harvest Palooza in here. Let's get out of here. Agreed. Yep. No. Stop, you three. This is very special for our town. I mean, who cares who the sponsor is? Besides, we've all been working very hard. We could use a break. Oh, oh look. Free scarves. Oh, thank you very much. Oh, lovely. No, absolutely not. I'm not wearing this. Oh, very soft. What? I'm cold. Elderly exemption. Fine, but we're taking them to the Salvation Army the second we leave here. Oh. Hey, guys. Hot cocoa, anyone? Um, actually, you can take your free beverages someplace else, Xavier. 
Uh, sorry, I just thought since it was so cold, you might like one. No, thank you, Xavier. That's very nice of you. Don't mind him. Sure, Scott? Real marshmallows on top. Cheers. To marshmallows. Let's go have some fun. Oh. Very impressive. Oh. I can do that on my best day. Hi, thanks for coming. Hi, thank you. Okay. Not my forte, mother. I'm a lion, like a conga lion. Hey. Hey. Glad you can make it. My mom insisted. Your mom, huh? Mm-hmm. So, what did you think of my event? Oh, did Harvest sponsor this show? I hardly noticed. Very funny. I mean, if you wanted people to see the Harvest logo in their sleep tonight, you probably succeeded. That is my job. Pains me to say it, but you're very good at it. I do have to ask, uh, why didn't I see you out on the ice? Oh, I, uh, I'm not much of a skater. Really? Hmm, well, around here, babies learn how to skate first, then walk. Skating toddlers? I knew something was missing from this event. Maybe next year. Anyway, see so you on the, uh, proverbial battlefield. Right. <laughs> well, uh, Thanks for coming out. My mom insisted. Hmm. Need some help? What are you doing here? I heard you might need some more volunteers. Wow. Um, okay, sure. Heard from whom? Oh. Sound great plan. I may have mentioned something to Xavier at the rink. I thought maybe we could extend our truce just a little bit longer for a good cause and all. Okay. Truce extension granted. Now get to work. Uh, yeah, those are gonna go right over there. Okay. Yeah. You said you wanted to work, so. All of those? And those? Okay. Go over there. So, who wants to be interviewed first? You called the press? No, I didn't, I swear. What are you doing here, Sherman? Two rivals working together for the common good. Now that is a newsworthy story. I'll pass. Not everything has to be a PR moment. Are you sure? Mm-hmm. I'm sure if he's sure. Go away, Sherman. Suit yourselves. Come on, Sam. <laughs> It's amazing what people can do, though, when they work together to make things better. For free, no less. Do you have plans tonight? You tell me. Are you sure we're allowed to be in here? Yes, the owner's an old friend. One of the perks of small town life. Now quit stalling and get out here. You promise you won't laugh? Promise. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you promised. I'm sorry. You are full of surprises, Jessica Roberts. Oh, I figure you want to try to fit in around here. You got to learn how to skate. And you thought who better to be my instructor than you? Exactly. And you're watching. <laughs> I have to admit it. Hudson Springs is growing on me lately. I can see why you'd never want to leave. I'm surprised to hear you say that. Sometimes I surprise myself. 
Ah, uh, this is the first chance I've had to get out and skate all season. Just been working nonstop. So, guess you're rubbing off on me, too. Workaholism can be contagious. It's okay. No, competing with you has forced me to hustle, which has been challenging, but also fun. Oh, you're exceptional at it. Well, being supremely mad at you is a great motivator. So you're, uh, you're not mad anymore? I guess I realize all that stuff between us, it's just business. But this is, uh, personal. Exactly. you're happy no matter what or who is behind it. Mm. <laughs> Let me guess. You're picturing yourself in your new corner office. Hmm? Oh, come on. The new sales numbers are through the roof. Your tactics worked. Yeah, we turned this around. Looks like HGS is here to stay in Hudson Springs. Cheers to that. Listen, sorry if I doubted you, by the way. I had no idea I was working with a marketing genius. Mm, just doing my job. Well, thank you. Boom! <laughs> hey, Mom said you want to talk to me. Yeah, it's, um, it's about the books. Well, don't look so glum. Our sales have never been better. But our expenses have never been higher. We had to hire more staff, plus Santa, plus all the materials to build and paint everything over time. It all adds up. And unfortunately, no matter how well we do in these next two days before Christmas, we're still gonna be in the red. But I sold Dad's truck. And that helped. But it wasn't enough. We'll, we'll have a sale. We'll put the Reeves and poinsettias half off. Oh, people love that. They'll, they'll go crazy. Yes, Jess, I think that we need to talk about selling the farm. Scott. If we prepare it now, we can have it on the market in time for spring. There has to be another way. If we could get another loan from the bank, call Mrs. Steingart. I, I, I called her already, and she said no. I'm, I'm sorry. I really am. I've seen what you've managed to do here. We all have. And it was an incredibly valiant effort, but at some point, we have to face reality. But look, I know that this is home for you, but maybe this is a chance for something new. Do you ever think maybe the farm was holding you back from having your own life? <laughs> I like my life here. There's this whole world out there to explore beyond this farm and beyond Hudson Springs. What would Dad say if he heard you talking like that? Dad is gone. Yes. We have to do what's right for us now. Not him. Sorry, Jess. Have a good night. There he is. Marcia, what are you doing here? Waiting to celebrate with you. 
I wanted to come up and personally thank you for killing it with a launch year. You had a slow start, but after seeing the new numbers this morning, everyone from the home office is over the moon. What can I say? I was inspired. I'm recommending you for a promotion. VP of marketing covering the entire Southwest. Congratulations. I don't know what to say. To your victory, then? To my victory. <laughs> <laughs> oh, can we help you? Uh, excuse me. I didn't mean to interrupt your celebration. Jessica. No need to explain. You won. We're selling the farm. What? Enjoy your night, Clay. What was that about? <laughs> Rather not talk about it. Fair enough. You must be dying to get back to the city. Actually, Marcia, uh, Hudson Springs has grown on me. Especially the people. Really? Well, I'm sure I don't need to remind you that we answer to the board at HGS first and foremost. Don't forget that. What would Wilbur Anderson say if he heard you right now? Excuse me? Wilbur Anderson was a lot like the people around here. He respected his customers. I wonder if HGS has forgotten that. <laughs> That's so funny. Well, the way you were talking, I Oh, no. You don't know. Oh, Wilbur Anderson never existed. He was created by Art Freeberg, a brilliant ad copy guy back in the 70s. He made the whole thing up as a sales tactic. I thought you knew. Well, that just goes to show you. You can sell ice to Alaskans if you tell them the right story. Be back at the office tomorrow. On Christmas Eve? Yes. I want to get you up to speed on your new role before the new year. Premiering Saturday. I was on top of the world. And in a flash, I am losing the farm and the first guy I saw a future with. Some Christmas Eve. You don't know that for sure. There's still time, right? Are you talking about the farm or the guy? Maybe both. Just talk to him. No. Hey. Jessica, it's me, Clay. Uh, I would really like to talk to you. I know you're upset, but hopefully you'll call me back. Bye. Listen to his voicemail. Maybe he's something. I don't get it. You were the one who forbade me from dating him. I know, and I didn't want to like Clay, but he clearly adores you, and I doubt he'd ever want to hurt you or put your farm out of business. He baited me into competing with him, knowing he would win all along. Oh, stop. If you're going to blame him, blame yourself, too. Because win or lose, you loved playing the game. And it could have gotten ugly between you two, but it didn't, because you liked each other too much. And maybe you'll lose the farm. But are you really ready to lose him, too? Jessica Roberts, you deserve it. Someone exceptional. I don't know if that's Clay, but you owe it to yourself to find out. So talk to him one more time, then decide. Hey. You wanted to see me, boss? I wanted to wish you good luck with the store. My time's up here. Uh, wow. <laughs> Merry Christmas. You too.
select few who make it to the top know that winning is everything. Every day is a test of your will to compete. Because if you aren't willing to do whatever it takes to win, You okay? Not really. I promised Dad I would take care of this place. If we sell, I'll always feel like I let him down. <laughs> Not really a comedy moment, Mom. I know. It's just... I heard the same thing many times from your father. Why? He didn't want to let you down. Me? Yeah. He, he knew how much you cared about this place. And, and so he put his heart and soul into it till his very last day. Bless his heart. I miss him so much. Yeah. Me too. And I know how proud he'd be what you've managed to do here. Just like I am. I mean, you've done an incredible job. Thanks, Mom. Whatever happens to the farm, I just want you to be happy and to follow your heart mm. wherever it takes you. Call that boy. See what's possible in the next chapter of your life. Because you know what? Ready or not, it's coming. I hate when you're right. I know. <laughs> it's Clay, leave a message. Hi, Clay, it's Jessica. I'm sure you're back at work already. Congratulations on your promotion. I didn't mean what I said yesterday. I'm, I really am happy for you, truly. You deserve it. Um, anyway, I was hoping we could talk. So uh, please give me a call when you have a chance. Bye. We just closed. Oh, it's okay, Ham. We're not here for a tree. Oh, are you lost? No, um, we're engaged. Oh, well, um, congratulations. We're headed upstate to see some relatives, and along the way, we're looking at wedding venues. Everything in the city is so typical. And expensive. Mm, I'm sorry to hear that, but why are you telling me all of this? <laughs> we were here this morning, and this farm, it's... Exactly what we're looking for. Do you think the owner would ever rent that barn out for a wedding? <gasps> I think they would. If you can put us in touch, that'd be awesome. Great news. You already are. Hey. Hey. Look, I'm sorry I didn't tell you about the whole harvest shop thing. 
figured if I did, you'd try to talk me out of it. I mean, you're right about that. But I know that you needed a job, so it's cool. Really? Yeah, really. You okay? Not yet. But I did find a way to save the farm. Really? Really. Well, I'm not surprised, my amazing boss lady. <laughs> I guess it's Merry Christmas after all. <sighs> First Christmas without Dad. So good to have all my kiddos together. <laughs> oh, Mom. Family is everything. Thanks, Mom. We love you too. Hello? Is somebody here? It's just me. What are you doing here? Waiting for you. To be honest, I thought you'd be home sooner. It's freezing out here. My dad's drunk. Merry Christmas. Thank you. I don't understand. That truck meant so much to your dad and to you. I was on my way out of town, and I realized I couldn't go without convincing you not to sell this place. Clay. It means too much to you and to your family and to this community, and if there's anything I can do to help get it back on track... Clay. We're not selling the farm. Oh. Okay. Good. Competing with you made me realize what I'm capable of. This farm is going to be a venue for so much more than it's ever been. We're gonna have summer movie nights and Easter egg hunts and Fourth of July carnivals. Halloween pumpkin patch. A Halloween pumpkin <laughs> patch? And the best part, weddings. Brilliant. Yeah. I wanna help. I'm not taking that promotion. In fact, I'm not going back to Harvest. I'm tired of peddling lies just so I can climb to the top of some corporate ladder. Are you sure? Because your podcast would say that's a huge mistake. <laughs> you know, they say New York City is the center of the world, where anything's possible. But in all my years living there, I never felt anything but the need to hustle, do whatever it takes to win. Even though it's only been a few weeks, the only place I've ever felt a sense of real possibility, a life with family and friends and real home, is right here, Hudson Springs. With you. Are you sure you want to live in Hudson Springs? That's where you are. Because from the moment we met, I've been falling for you. <laughs>